Hello and welcome back to the 11th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Close Combat 3 Cross of Fire and Grand Campaign with the Russians on Elite Difficulty. Now, we won the last map. Uh, sadly, we took some casualties while winning it though. And we're now pushing on. Uh, slowly but surely kind of stomping through the, Rush, uh, the, the Germans. Uh, my bad. So we could replace this heavy tanker because we do have 116 requisition points and I'm thinking we might do that although there are some other things we could get and we could just keep this vehicle crew on standby uh, we'll get a cheaper tank than if we'd have to buy the crew as well in the future so let's see what else we can possibly get uh, okay we won for 95 but we might as well just use the crew we already have now We're fairly experienced um What's the well? I mean, it's Churchill Mark IV, A22. Uh, one of the British Army heaviest of early World War II. 300 Churchills were sent to Russia in 1942. The Churchill is very slow due to the heavy armor. The six pounder can cannon is effective against most targets. Alright, so that could be an option to get a Churchill. Do we, though? That's going to be all the requisition points, pretty much. Uh, and I do want to get some more infantry units as well, maybe. Uh, what's this, though? It's like a guard tank or something? What's the Uber? I don't know. Uh, regular, but no elite. Support-wise, ask who to support. We're not looking for support units at the moment. Um, yeah, I think we just refit this KV-1 here. Let's get it back in action. And we can refit our Cossack rifle team. Or we could get a different rifle team. Now we'll stick with the Cossacks because they have seven rifles. And these guys have five submachine guns. Arguably pretty good. Uh, but they have less rifles that are worse off at distance. And we have a remaining 23 points that we can spend on something. Could get a beefy squad together with that, I think. Like we could, yeah. All right, so we can have this LMG squad, which is of uh, low morale and basic training. So we would probably be better off sticking it with the group leader than having it work on its own. But I think we'll do that. They can be with the group leader, so it's like a thirteen men squad. These two combined, and then we have this Cossack infantry that can operate separately from that, and a heavy machine gun team that can support them. Not to mention the fact that we do have three tanks. And, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go for it. So let's see here. Right, okay. We are attacking, and the Germans are, uh, well, they could be many places. So I think what we're going to do is have the light machine gun in from, like, take this building initially, and then we're kind of going to feel it out a little bit from there. If we could have this Cossack infantry maybe in here for now, just put an ambush so they don't actually open fire and then take return fire, which could be quite deadly. And I suppose we just put the heavy machine gun team in here as well on ambush and just have them kind of wait for me to actually give them a direct order to fire. Push the group leader in here, because what I'm thinking is we can use these two squads to claim St. Sophia's if the enemy isn't already in it, and uh, use that as a... Uh, well, staging point for the further operation of the map, I suppose. Well, not really, but uh, yeah, it was, just, <laughs> it was just a fancy word. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> uh, that made a little sense, but yeah, we could claim that and then use that to shoot that from. So there you have it. Um, I don't know if this would be the best way to do it. I don't like it. Really depends on what the enemies do. We'll put the KV-141 versions up here. They can kind of operate together, uh, closely together. We can have the uh, 39 version down here. We could even put some tanks up on a hill here. And, oh no, they would actually have quite a limited field of fire for now. Really? Ah, well, they could shoot out a little bit for now. But, I mean, with the armor these guys have, which we've seen in the last episode, isn't something that makes them unkillable, but with the armor they have, I would kind of like to push in with them. So we're going to see what happens though. Okay, we're not immediately getting bombarded by a bunch of enemy tanks, so I guess that's good. We'll move into KV once a little bit. We'll take front position. 
Okay, the heavy machine gun team can open up in this space. Okay, we got several infantry teams here moving up a little bit, so... Ah, uh, we'll put them on defend. They can open fire. I figure we can take St. Sophia's. Move up a little bit with these guys. Oh, no, no, don't don't take St. Sophia's. This enemy send down. They are falling back, but uh, let's just not risk it just yet. So, okay, we're rolling up behind him with this KV-1. Uh, I see something on the end of the map here. Could that be an anti-tank thing? Not an anti-tank per se, but a freaking tank. Alright, so we need the uh, KV-1 to turn his ass towards that guy. Please don't sit there with your side armor towards him. Turn your hull. Alright, either way, we're going to push this tank a little bit further in this direction. And we're going to move this tank a little bit further in that direction. Are we losing anybody? No, we haven't taken any casualties yet. So it's purely the Germans still losing them right now. We've immobilized the Panzer 3 h and our KV-1 has repositioned his armor. So that's pretty good. We're going to put this guy in defend in that direction. This guy defend on this direction. Uh, we took out the Panzer 3. Fantastic. I'm just hoping they don't have a lot of anti-tank guns. So far we are giving them hell. They want a truce. Dream on, Germany. Dream on. Is it not one step back, the uh, policy of uh, Hitler? How would your great leader appreciate hearing what you are offering me right now? Truces? Ah, well, these guys are just kind of running across us. If we could actually open fire at them, that would be nice. They do have Molotovs, which can be a little bit of a nuisance if they throw them on the KV-1 and hit the right place on it. Okay, they surrendered. Alright, we're just going to take this KV-1. Actually, okay, we're going to start engaging what's up here, then we're going to move down and roll over these guys afterwards. No sense pushing in infantry just yet, if we can do what we're doing with our tanks and uh, minimize casualties that way. So, we can't really get shots in the infantry here. We'll just put them on defend. Could shoot the recon infantry trying to run away, huh? There's someone surrendered. We killed one guy there. We are starting to take a lot of fire. It's mainly the uh, mortars that are annoying. Okay, well, the KV-1 has already turned around, so I guess we might as well just keep going the way that he's turning now. Oh, well, they ran away. We took no casualties, and we completely crushed them. Took out one tank, killed 14, wounded 9, and took 4 prisoners. So then we have one map left in this campaign, or in this operation. I'm hoping we get a substantial amount of requisition points uh, once more. We seem to be getting a lot more with the Russians on Elite Difficulty than we did get with the Germans, so that's kind of nice. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, uh, well, you can catch me in the next one, and I'd also appreciate if you would leave, or consider leaving, a like on my video, and maybe even subscribing. Completely up to you, though. You can keep watching if you want. You can do something else with your life. <laughs> That's entirely up to you. Either way, there will be more of my videos available for you to watch. So, with that being said, have a good one.